We're continuing to follow breaking news at this hour about a fire in Dearborn Heights. For the very latest, let's go now live to Grant Herms, who's on the scene. Grant, what can you tell us? Well, Christy, I just talked to the fire marshal here on scene. I am going to step out of the way so you can see this scene a little better. We have three different crews from Taylor Dearborn and Dearborn Heights all working this. This came in as a house collapse at 11.29, 11.30 this morning. They're investigating this also as maybe a potential explosion as well, which is why you see DTE here on the scene. Now, thankfully, right now, we don't think anybody was inside the home. They did say an animal was able to get out. They have animal control here on the scene as well for what it's like that family pet. You see a lot of folks working right here. Listen to what the fire marshal had to say to me just a few minutes ago. When we got here, got water on as quick as possible, but I mean, total loss. Uh, none of my guys injured. Still an uh, ongoing investigation and search right now. Is there anybody inside the home? As know? far as we know, nobody's at home. No cars were in the driveway. Neighbors reporting nobody around. We're still trying to find the uh, location of the residence. Now, we did talk to a few neighbors as we pulled up here. We, we heard them say that they may have felt something earlier this morning around 5 a.m. It's unclear if that's related to what this fire is here behind. But neighbors did say they could see flames as tall as these trees here about 20 minutes ago or so. We know that some folks here have been taking some videos, so hopefully we'll be able to get some of that from them as well. But, Christy, for now, here in Dearborn Heights, I'm Grant Herms for Local 4. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much, Grant. We'll have the very latest on Local 4 News at 5 o'clock today. Okay.